but Brian, um, back to back to the thirty five hour drive. Brian, Brian Laundry makes this drive back to Florida. As we, as we understand it, makes this drive back to Florida and and brings the vehicle back to his home in Northport. Um, without his fiance, there's been a lot of questions about Brian Laundry's mental state and if he was aware of Gabby Petito's, his fiance's death. And that's a, that's a road trip that has to take a, an extreme mental toll on somebody. And I say that because Brian's mental well-being right now is likely interconnected with the justice for Gabby cause that I'm seeing here, of course, in your comments on social media. So Brian Laundry. Um, Brian Laundry makes this, this long road trip back. Um, and we don't know if he was aware of Gabby's death when he made this road trip. Uh, I say that only because we talk about the realm of possible and the realm, the outer realm of impossible here. And we have to remember what's, what's these two might have gotten into a fight. It's possible that they got at this stage of where we are in this investigation and what we know at this time, it is possible that they got into a, an altercation of some kind. They separated themselves and then something terrible happened to Gabby and Brian. It's potentially possible again, panicked and returned home to Florida. Now, now people would look at me and say, JB, you're crazy. If, if they were in love, he would have stayed and, and searched for Gabby. I get that, but we have to talk about what is and isn't possible based on the facts that we currently have. And it's my duty to stay, to, to tell you what is and isn't possible here with this, with this story and all of the unknown makes that so difficult. But keep that in mind here. Gabby is dead. We don't know if it was a homicide. We, and Brian is a person of interest in this case at this time. Everyone wants to... Um, point a finger and assign blame and uh and i i understand it with a, two plus two equals four i get it but you also have to think of of where we're coming from here as journalists in telling you here what we know what we don't know what is possible what isn't possible and right now i'm telling you what is possible uh, of a of a of a plausible as far as a plausible scenario goes we have another few minutes here Aaron Young, prayers for the family from Tifton, Georgia. I hope she gets justice. Debbie, uh, thank you, Aaron, for your comment. Really appreciate it. Debbie McCallum, hashtag AJB. What are his parents saying now? What's the scene there? So talking about him, talking about Brian Laundrie, I would imagine, here with this comment. Um, okay, uh, we don't have... Hold on, let me, let me just ask real quick. Okay, so we don't have a camera outside of the laundry house right now. Otherwise, I'd bring it up to you on feeds, and I want to make sure that nobody was on the way over there. Right now, we don't have a, a feed to bring you of outside the laundry house.